Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to cover what you should study if you want to pursue a career in bioinformatics. We're mainly going to focus on the bachelor's degree, so the first degree you do when you go to university or college. So to start with, I just want to give a bit of a background on myself to give you an idea of the kind of journey that I've come on. So my undergraduate degree was in molecular biology. Um, that was in the UK, so it was a three-year degree. I then went on to do a master's degree in bioinformatics, so that was a one-year master's. Then I went straight into academia, working as a bioinformatics research associate for a year, um, and now I'm currently working in industry as a bioinformatics scientist. So I kind of have a good idea of, you know, what people study that are working in the field, both in academia and, and in industry. So in this video, um, I'm going to kind of explain to you what I think is the best subject to study and also we're going to explore if there's a difference between those who want to go into industry versus academia uh, in terms of what you should study. So what is bioinformatics? You may have seen a diagram like this before. It's a Venn diagram and I guess the takeaway from this is that bioinformatics is a very multidisciplinary subject. So it kind of combines computer science with biology with statistics. And the bottom line is, if you study anything that you see in this diagram, so computer science, bio biology, statistics, computational biology, data science, biostatistics, or anything that kind of falls under any of these categories, so, you know, in biology, we could have biotechnology, molecular biology, anything like that, any of these subjects are good choices if you eventually want to pursue a career in bioinformatics. So, as I mentioned, bioinformatics is a multidisciplinary field, so you can't just have the biology knowledge or say the computer science knowledge, you kind of need to know both. Now, it's not always possible to learn both coding and say biology in the same degree. So if you do a biology degree, you may do some statistical programming, but the likelihood is you're not gonna be spending so much time um, learning how to do that properly. However, that's not necessarily a problem because you can learn to code at a later date, which many people do. So many people will go on to further study, maybe maybe they'll do a master's degree or a PhD where they'll learn how to code. You may do an undergraduate degree in biology, but then go on to do a, a master's or a PhD in bioinformatics or in a subject that incorporates um, some coding or some statistics as well as the biology. You can also teach yourself how to code. So this is actually something I did during my undergraduate degree in molecular biology, I started to teach myself how to code uh, and then I went on to do my master's in bioinformatics so I combined the, co the coding skills that I already knew as well as the, the knowledge I've gained from my undergraduate degree to work as a bioinformatician. Now as I said I've worked as a bioinformatician in both academia and industry and in the teams I've worked in I've done some research and collected some data on what background they came from. And by background, we're just referring to the undergraduate degree, the bachelor's degree that they studied. So I'm basically comparing the bioinformatics people I've worked with in academia to those I've worked with in industry. And what we can see is that the majority of people in both groups studied an undergraduate degree in biology or a biology related subject. So here I've just put biology, but this includes uh, many other things that kind of fall under that category, such as biochemistry, biotechnology, molecular biology, and so on. So for both categories, we're, we're getting around 60% of people coming from a bachelor's degree in biology. And we can see, I guess, a similar amount coming from computer science, bioinformatics, and similar coming from data science, I guess, statistical background. So I guess the takeaway from this is that if you want to go down that academia route, or if you want to go into industry, it doesn't really matter what you study. Now just because these charts say that the majority of people come from a biology bachelor's degree doesn't necessarily mean that's the best thing you should choose. It could mean, for example, that more people coming from biology are choosing to switch to bioinformatics compared to people from, say, computer science. I guess an important fact I should also mention is that it benefits a group to have people with uh, multiple different backgrounds. So that way you can have a whole array of different skills and people specializing in different things and this often results in higher productivity and more bandwidth in terms of what a certain group of 
bioinformaticians is capable of. I think the most important thing is to do something you're actually interested in. It may give you an advantage to study a degree in bioinformatics straight out if you're sure that's what you want to do. However, studying something like computer science may give you more options. So after you graduate, if you decide that maybe bioinformatics isn't for you, if you have a computer science degree, you may have more choices to switch into a different career, a different industry. One question you might have is, is it easier for a person with a computer science background to learn biology compared to um, a person from a biological background to learn coding? Um, and I would actually say from personal experience and seeing people coming from different backgrounds, that it's probably about the same. Like these days, there's so many free resources online, on YouTube for example, um, to learn coding. So although it's perhaps considered a high value skill, it's actually becoming easier to, to learn it. And I guess I'm speaking from experience here because I actually taught myself to code um, just through online resources such as YouTube. That being said, the same goes for learning biology. You can go on to YouTube and literally find lectures on biology for free. So it just comes down to how dedicated you are to learning a new skill. A final point I'll make is that when you're trying to get a job in bioinformatics, be it industry or academia, you need to have projects that can prove that you know what you're doing. For many people, to get this experience, they'll need to do, you know, go through higher education. So go through perhaps a master's program or a PhD program. And many people choose to go even further than that, especially people who want to stay in academia, they go the postdoc route. To summarize, you want to study something that falls under one of the areas of that Venn diagram, computer science, biology, statistics, data science, computational biology, or biostatistics, or any other subject that can fit into one of those categories. It doesn't matter too much what you pick. Um, I'd say the most important thing, make sure you're actually interested in it. Then you can kind of tailor your studies either through the projects you take on throughout your degree, or if you want to pursue you know, further education, then you can kind of tailor it towards bioinformatics and kind of fill in the gaps. So you, you need biological skills, computational science skills, and statistical skills. You can get all these in one degree, so a bioinformatics degree could give you all of these, but it doesn't really matter. As long as you're doing what you enjoy, you can succeed in a bioinformatics career by taking any one of these subjects individually. With that in mind, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just drop a comment below. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.